at Citizens Bank Park. That's awesome. Here's the clubhouse. Oh, it's wrapped up, battened down because there's going to be some celebrating there tonight. Champagne's on ice. And who's the first guy there? Of course, Schwarz. the leadoff man, the Schwarberian, Kyle Schwarber. We'll check a phone or two and then we will celebrate because nice job, Jeff Hoffman, by the way. Great job by Jeff Hoffman. The Phillies are going back to the playoffs for the second straight year. And for the first time since 2011, they clinch a playoff spot at home, which is also a beautiful thing. There's Aaron Noah, and he pitched a gem tonight. In fact, some might say, and right in this seat it says, should have left him in at 90 pitches. Let him finish the seventh inning. But the bottom line is a 3-2-10 inning win, and the Phillies are going back to the playoffs. It remains to be seen if tonight they will clinch the top wild card spot for the entire evening. And you see Bryce Harper and Bryson Stott there. Certainly this team, you can sense the joy. You can feel the joy that they are going through right now. But it's a little bit muted. You know why? It was unexpected last year. It's expected this year. They want to get back to the World Series again. They want to win the World Series again. Brandon Marsh with the home run in the seventh inning off of Mitch Keller, who wasn't doing it. He wasn't giving up a thing until Brandon Marsh stepped into the box and when you look at the crowd at the ballpark if you look at it was John, John Middleton. Middleton the principal partner of the Philadelphia Phillies is a general partner born and raised in Philadelphia and he has rolled up his sleeves and he embraces this moment as any fan would because he grew up a Phillies fan long before he owned the team and out go the complimentary baseballs to the fans who have waited another year for another shot to get he's, to the postseason. He's throwing gas up there, too. He's he not throwing around. gas. The guy was an athlete. He was a wrestler. Look at that. At, he, at, he's uh, going to be sore tomorrow. Williams. And there's Alec Bohm and all the players coming in. Get into it, Alec. When you look at this, and, and Ricky Batalico and Ben Davis are with me in a little bit. We're going to go across the street and check in with Tom McCarthy, Ruben Amaro Jr., and John Cruck, who called tonight's game. Uh, but when, when you look at this, what's your sense of this celebration? What's your sense of this win? And I might add, before the night is over, we might see the Phillies have the top wild card spot for these 2023 well, playoffs. Well, one way or the other, they're going to get the top wild card spot. These fans in Philadelphia are going to get to see uh, postseason baseball immediately. It's going to be a red October immediately, unlike last year. And uh, you know what? These guys deserve it. They played hard all season long. They, they, they fought uh, once again. It was a tough wild card, uh, uh, I, I guess, race, if you want to call it that. But the Phillies end up getting this one in a little better fashion than last year. Now they get to set up their rotation. Everything's well in Philly land. And you got to be happy for these guys. Unbelievable. I mean, th think about this. Jeff Hoffman gets the win. Okay, Rojas gets the game-winning hit, mm -hmm. and Pache <laughs> scores the game-winning run. Are you what, kidding me? What you didn't see this coming? You cannot make training. that up. You didn't see, and, and Rojas on the day that he is awarded the Paul Owens Award. Who's got the overall? And we got that? sure that, that's Stubbs. That Garrett Stubbs. He's starting up again. You gotta love that dude. Garrett Stubbs, and they're all putting their ski goggles on, their masks on, because soon the champagne will fly. And Trey Turner who has been an amazing addition to this team a couple of months ago. In fact, up till August 4th, we weren't saying that, but then he came back with the team after a long road trip to multiple standing ovations from the Philadelphia fans at Citizens Bank Park. And he had a night of nights, and that has continued right up until this moment. His glove, eh, it's, it's had, to, had its moments, but certainly his bat has been on fire, Ben and Ricky. He has been on fire. Ever since that same invasion on August the 4th, the team would not be in this position without Trey Turner. That's the bottom line. Other guys have rallied around uh, Trey Turner. Bryce Harper has been just a man possessed. Castellanos, everyone's doing their job. We talk about how this is a team sport, but the better you do individually, the better the ball club becomes. And these guys are playing at a high level right now. And a lot of credit goes out to Rob Thompson right there. You see him walking in. It gets them back to the promised land again. Now the real fun begins. Now the, even the more work begins. And uh, it's going to be a fun ride. Hopefully it'll continue to go. You see Reese Hoskins there uh, getting in the mix of things. 
uh, this is going to be a good ride because they experienced, they tasted <laughs> a little bit last year, and now they want the, they had a piece of the cake last year, this year they want the whole thing. Yeah, we saw Brandon Marsh. That guy wants the whole thing, I know that. Oh, and, and he has been uh, really one of the main reasons. He has driven this run that the Phillies have had, bringing in Dave Dombrowski and building this team. And we talk about the daycare. I think they're in kindergarten now. I think they're past the daycare. And uh, we're Topper going to give a little speech. We're waiting for Rob Thompson. You think he can pop the court? Here we go. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> congratulate all of you. Uh, what an unbelievable team you have. And it's, this is just the start. This team is built for where we're going. To get there is the tough part. Now we got to finish this thing off. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys have overcome a lot of things. This is the most resilient team I've ever been around, and that plays big in the playoff. Okay. Get your rest. Come in late tomorrow. Party hard tonight. The last thing, JT, how many more playoffs? We got you. says Rob Thompson and then we'll refocus tomorrow and Thompson says this team is built for where we're going now we've got to finish it off and I'm so proud of you guys and then the rest of it was was completely gurgled out because he was hit he with doused. champagne he got doused with champagne but he said this is one of the most or the most resilient teams he's ever been around. And guess what? Right after John Middleton and Dave Dombrowski, you've got a point to Rob Thompson as a guy who knew how to pull the strings on this team. We criticized him. We wondered, even tonight, we wondered whether or not Aaron Nola should have stayed in that game for one more out and finished the seventh inning. Thompson thought better of it, brought in Matt Strom, and it all worked out ultimately. And what he has done is only had the utmost of faith in his players and you two played the game guys and you know as we look at Bryce Harper soaked in the in the bubbles you know how much that means to a player to have the faith of your coach yeah, of your it's manager. not always like that it's not always like that with the managers and being this close to his players and always having his players backs I mean think think about this I mean he's done a tremendous job keeping these guys uh, not not necessarily always healthy because it's almost impossible to stay healthy for a full season but I mean giving these guys rest when they need rest taking JT out of a bunch of games when he needed some rest I, 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 just, I just think right now I, I mean this team I, I think he's absolutely right this team is built for the postseason and I, I, I think the one thing that we're gonna see we saw Aaron Nola tonight throw the daylights out of the ball and you have to wonder is he back is that yeah. is that what we're gonna see in the postseason I believe we are I, I think him and Wheeler are a tough one-two punch for anybody also you both played with players that have been pretty darn good in the regular season and you've seen them leapfrog into another zone in the postseason. And, and I'm wondering if Aaron Nola is this kind of pitcher. We saw it last year. He hit Houston. He, he uh, clinched a, a playoff berth. And then he did it in the postseason as well. What do you think, Ben? Well, I, I, what I saw tonight is a guy that just said, you know what, I'm going to stay off balance. I'm going to be competitive in the strike zone. But the stuff that he had, he changed his game. He wasn't so heavily de 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 depending on his curveball as much. He threw a lot more two-seamers tonight, a lot more change-ups tonight. He made the adjustments. We always talk about hitters making the adjustments. Aaron Nola has done that in his last two starts. Hey, if it's not working, I got to try something different. I have to get off the page. I have to go to what's working best for me. That particular game, Aaron Nola had it tonight. Um, you know, you, you see Rob Thompson there. It's, it's one thing to, to say the right things, which he always does, or seem like do the right things. This is one of the most sincere guys I've ever been around in the game. I, he generally cares about how you're doing and, and what, what you're going through. I mean, he comes to the back of the plane to talk to us, and, hey, how's everything going? And I, that's what kind of sincere guy he is. 
when we're on road trip. You just what you see is what you get, and the players absolutely adore him, and they know that he always has their back. Uh, but this is just fun to watch. A lot of these guys are coming. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up big at the right time right now, Michael and Ricky, and uh, who knows what kind of ride we're going to be uh, exposed to right Middleton. now. Yeah. John Middleton is taking it in the face. By the way, this champagne. is Stubbs season. This is Garrett Stubbs season right here. Garrett I mean, Stubbs just... season and Sud season. You, you ever notice he's just right in the middle of everything after the, during these celebrations? Let's go to Tom McCarthy in that soggy clubhouse right now. He's got Nick Castellanos. Tommy. All right, Michael, thank you very much. So, so Nick, I mean, it's, it never gets old just to sit and watch, does it? Sure. I mean, it, it's a, the excitement that the ballpark felt tonight. Give me a little description of that. I mean, listen, they know what's coming. Yeah. I thought that was one of the cool parts at the end when you guys were taking the picture on the mound sure. with the music playing like that. Uh, you have taken Rojas kind of under your wing this year. How proud are you for what he did tonight? I mean, it's a beautiful moment, and honestly, it happened to the right guy. Seeing him, you know, run out there and take the pile all the way to center field and bouncing around and even for him experiencing this now, it does wonders for him just as a baseball player moving forward. You've been very introspective this year. Give me an idea of what this is like for two years in a row to get back to the postseason and defend the National League crown. I think we have a beautiful group of guys that are unbelievably talented. I think there's a lot of strong character, and I think that we're understanding like how to win each and every year, and uh, it's fun to be a part of. What did you learn this year for you? What did you learn as a ball player or as a person this year on the field? Um, not a damn thing. <laughs> but you're going back to the postseason, so that's cool. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. Nick Castellanos, guys. Uh, the guys are celebrating right now. They got a little dancing on your own plane. So there's a lot happening. We'll get some more in a few minutes. All right, Tommy. We'll check back in with you. Tom McCarthy, of course, doing your... This guy's am amazing. He's calling the games. He's calling NFL. He calls the NCAA. And he does interviews in a very sudsy clubhouse. Uh, Nick Castellanos, Ricky and Ben just said this is a beautiful group of guys who are unbelievably talented and we're learning to win each and every year differently uh, if it needs being and it, it does is this year. In all reality it doesn't matter how you win just as long as you do win and I, I mean let's face it you look at this roster you look at this team on paper they are no joke and, and other teams around the league they don't want to face the Phillies right now would you? Would you? No. Do you want to come in and face Bryce Harper and JT Real Muto and everybody else that could rake on in this ball club? Schwarber could turn the game around with one swing of the bat. This is a good ball club right now. If they if this bullpen gets fixed for the playoffs, they're going to be a tough stop. Period. Let's take this is a dancing on my own second straight year that they have used this as a playoff tune. Let's take a listen. That's unbridled joy. That's the joy of winning. That's the joy of, of the uh, unknown in a good way, of perhaps a future champion, uh, of maybe another NL pennant, and then back to the World Series. And who knows? You notice it does not say Red October on those red T-shirts. It says Take October. And they did up to a point last year. Got to the pennant, went into the World Series, were a couple of wins away. But the Houston Astros, they're no slouches either. And they are the defending world champs for a reason. As we look at the kids, uh, perhaps the next generation of fans, if not players, are having a good time out on the field. We were talking about Rob Thompson, and let me tie him in to Kyle Schwarber right there, because we think Kyle, of Kyle Schwarber as the leadoff hitter for the Philadelphia Phillies. Let's remember, he wasn't the, the everyday leadoff man this year until June. They were going with Stott. They were going with Turner. They were going with combinations, Schwarber as well. But Schwarber became the full-time leadoff guy in June. Too much consternation of the fandom and some of the media. Too much consternation 
controversy. And guess what? It only worked out to a fair thee well. Ricky Bowe and Ben Davis, did it not? Yeah, it really did. What he's what a three, 342 to 345 on base percentage, somewhere in that area. I mean, he's done his job. He's in he's in the 40s for home runs. Want him to get to 50. I don't know if that's going to happen now, but uh, he, he doesn't have enough at bats, I don't think, to get there. But Schwarber, I mean, how, how can he not be like a favorite? I mean, I mean, in all honesty, I watch this guy play, and I, I want, I want to go, you know, give him a high five after he hits a home run. This is a guy that's got one of the sweetest swings. The only kind, of, the only time I can put together one of those swings is in the backyard hitting a <laughs> wiffle ball for crying out loud. I'm sure Ben could kind of muster one of those up. But I mean, he's just fun to watch. I mean, bottom line, he's just fun to watch. JT Real Muto looks like he's slicing into those the are cigar. cigars. I Michael. hope he saves some for us. I mean, those look like uh, Cubans, perhaps, and uh, which uh, we would like to have some of those over here. Just not in the studio, of course. <laughs> not inside. We Jeff can't Jeff just like our stage manager. No, not in here. You're not. Not in here. You're not. not. Um, That's a clubhouse that is feeling no pain right yeah, now. Yeah, it certainly and is. And it's unbridled joy. And the pain gets less and less as the day goes on. <laughs> which is great. There's Bryce Harper There's Bryce. with his kids and, and with, with his teammates' kids. He doesn't want him to, to smell like alcohol. Yeah. Well, you know what? Every once in a while, hopefully every year, that's the, that is the smell of victory in a baseball clubhouse. Here is Tom McCarthy once again with Kyle Schwarber. Tommy. All right, Michael, thank you very much. Uh, you know, I just asked Nick this. You've been part of this so many times now. It never gets old, does it, to be part of this thing? <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, you know, like I always said, you go back, you know, you never take this stuff for granted. Um, there's going to be a lot of players in this game that don't even make the postseason. So um, it's an accomplishment within itself. You know, to play 162 games and to be one of the last teams that are going to be uh, – playing baseball for a championship that's what it's all about you know you look at this group you guys have been together now for two years and you keep evolving it's not just the same guy all the time you had a kid who wasn't even with the team this year at the beginning come through gets the minor league player of the year award then comes through with the game winning hit that says a lot about an organization yeah I mean you talk about the depth that we have in this organization uh, can't be more proud of Rojas the way that he's carried himself uh, since he's gotten called up and the way that he goes about his work and you know he takes that back and then it takes a professional at bat. This is a big hit. Yep. And, uh, you know, it's crazy. We've got two uh, organizational uh, players of the year on the team today. So, uh, you know, it speaks about the depth, and we're excited to keep going. Explain to everybody just how close you guys are. You've been with a lot of clubhouses. you had a lot of close friends in this game, but you can see the gel that this team has. Yeah, you know, the best teams are going to be family and um, you know that's what we consider ourselves is just a big family that you know we spend a lot of time with each other and you know you got to be able to like each other to, to have success so uh, you know we all love each other you know the way that we go out there we keep battling every single day you know we, we don't feel like we're, we're ever out of game and uh, you know I don't know you know you just can't say enough about the character of this club and the way that it goes from top to bottom from uh, leadership to uh, the players yeah, and I think this moniker take October is a pretty good saying too oh yeah you know um, we're excited to be back and uh, you know obviously the, you know we played a, you know we played what we needed to play to get in and now anything can happen so we just got to be able to uh, take it a day at a time here uh, here on out uh, get there be healthy and see what happens all right buddy thank you congratulations I think so yep all right guys back to you